Good morning, everybody. It's Jim. Uh, this morning, I have something kind of unique and new for you. The short story is I'm selling one of my niche websites and I'm offering it for sale to one of you guys. Um, for those of you who are interested in buying, this is a pretty cool opportunity. Uh, for those of you who are not and just want to know how a website is valued and a deep dive into one of my websites, well then, cool, you're in the right place. Hope you don't mind. I'm just doing this on my cell phone this morning. I just didn't have much time. So this website is earning an average, or sorry, the site is knifeup.com. It's one of my favorite sites. It kind of kills me that I'd uh, consider selling it, but we're trying to do something, something kind of fun as a family. Um, and so I thought, eh, you know, maybe I could get some extra money from this. Uh, so I thought, so it does pain me a little bit to be selling this one, but, uh, but it'll be fun. So um, let's look at the, the earnings from the website, shall we? I'm just gonna take you over here. Um, so here's an Excel document that shows really all the vital stats from the website. So this is going back until January 2017 and the income from ads and affiliate uh, during that time. So the average monthly income, if you, you take the 12-month average, it's $5,200 a month. The six-month income is $5,400 per month. And then here we can see the traffic to the website. It's been so steady, just hovering right around that 330,000 page views, really for years. Um, and so that's really cool. It's so hard to find a website that just has steady, consistent traffic. And so to me, that's a major selling point of this website. Um, okay, so that's kind of the income from the website. Let's jump straight to the valuation and then we'll get into a little bit of the details. So valuation for the website. With with it earning, we'll take the lower of the two, the $5,262.46 per month. If we, we can multiply that by anywhere between 28 and 40 to get a solid multiple for selling this website. And that's just very general across the industry. Um, that's what you'd kind of see as a normal range for selling a website. Now, if something's way down on a 28 times multiple side, it means that there's a significant risk with the website. For example, it's very active. It requires your full-time job. Um, that's gonna definitely put it on the lower end of things if it, ta it takes that much work. If the site is not very old, you know, the site's less than a year old, yeah, it's gonna be at the lower end of the multiple range because there's more risk. We just don't have a long track record. Um, and then also just if the traffic is squirrely, um, you know, if it's way up one month, way down one month, etc., that's gonna be at the lower end of the multiples. At the higher end, at the 40, 40 times monthly earnings, monthly net earnings, um, that's where we'd see a site that's really well established, that has really solid traffic, really passive, and very diversified income streams. So where does Knife Up fit in? If, I, if you were to ask me, if you own this website and you asked me to value it, I would probably value this at a 38 times, maybe a 37 times multiple, um, because it's... It has very steady traffic, but it doesn't like have a reputation in the industry because new, you know, these are, it's very transactional. People search stuff, they find the website. Um, and so uh, I wouldn't put it right at the 40, but it's extremely passive, extremely steady. Um, it has only two income sources, which brings it down a little, but it's also so passive. So I would say a 37, 38 times multiple, maybe 37 is probably a fair multiple, I think, for this, just what I would say it would go for. Um, I'm actually gonna list this at a lower multiple. I'm gonna list this at a 35 times multiple. Um, and you know, I'd be glad to hear any offers on it, but frankly, I'm not gonna be able to take, I just wouldn't take much less for it because it's, it's just a super solid site. I'm not gonna be broken up about it if this doesn't sell. Um, so, uh, 35 times multiple of the 12-month average monthly earnings is $184,000, cents. $184 so $184,000. Um, I feel like that's actually a pretty good price for this um, because of it's just so steady and everything. So, yes, I'd be interested in hearing offers, but... No, I, I'm not gonna sell this uh, real low because that, that's that's a fair multiple already. I think, frankly, it could go for a 37 times multiple. Okay, um, 
So that's kind of the vital statistics of the website. Let's jump into opportunities and threats. So first, the low-hanging fruit. Um, the low-hanging fruit on this website kind of makes me crazy <laughs> because, um, uh, man, this website is good enough that it could be your full-time job. I mean, it's earning $5,200 a month. And there's so much low-hanging fruit that you could double it. I feel confident that I could double it in fairly short order, but I've just been torn by so many different projects. I've just never gotten to it. Um, so it's a cool opportunity for whoever does uh, want to do it. And if you don't, if you just want to keep this as a passive site, then that's what it's mo that's what it's valued at is as a passive site. So you could really just buy this and sit it in your portfolio and I'd feel pretty confident that it's going to pay for itself in about two and a half years. But you never know what the future holds. Everything has a risk. Um, but anyway, here's the low-hanging fruit. Okay, ads. Uh, I So no new content has been added in the last two years. Don't go by the dates sometimes that things are published. I did some things to try to make Google hopefully rank it a little bit more and uh, not show those older dates. Uh, but really only two articles have been written in the last two years and those are the two most recent, one that my wife wrote and one that I wrote just in the last couple weeks. One of them was from yesterday. Um, and the reason that we're doing that is because I got an email from the ads broker, I think it's been about three weeks ago, um, that they said, hey, have you noticed that the CPMs you're getting, the amount the amount of earnings you get for every thousand page views on the website is way lower on this site than your other sites? And I was like, yes, I have. <laughs> Why is that? Um, and they said, well, yeah, it's just because we showed it to the premium ads buyers and they just, they wanted their products to be associated with a fresh site. And so they just want you to write some new content and then we think your CPMs are gonna go way up uh, just like your other sites. And I thought, oh, okay, well that's major low hanging fruit. So what they suggested is to just write 10 or 20 new posts um, and maybe freshen up the design or whatever and then just tell them once we've done that and they'll just resubmit it to the premium ads buyers and they feel confident that the ads income is gonna go way up and that's 50% of the income. Um, next is an email list. Drives me crazy that I've never gotten to this, but it gets 330,000 page views a month. And so if you just had a pretty simple uh, lead gen, just something, you know, a little, you'll get this quick guide if you sign up for our email list kind of deal. Um, I mean, with that much traffic, I would feel pretty confident that you could add a hundred people a day to an email list if you really do it right. Um, and man, a hundred people a day to an email list is, um, Ooh, you could do some pretty cool stuff, um, by doing that. Um, and just emailing out affiliate offers, things like that. Uh, right now there's no email list. I've just never gotten to it. Uh, next is other affiliate offers. Probably my favorite way to change an existing website with high traffic when I buy it is I just go to Google Analytics, look at the top 20 most trafficked posts, and I just really simply go to share a sale, ClickBank, and I'm looking for affiliate offers in the outdoors survival knife niche, and I'm just gonna slip in, you know, just add a couple sentences. Ooh, one of my favorite tactical flashlights is this. And I mentioned tactical flashlights because that is a red hot affiliate offer right now. Uh, I heard some numbers the other day from somebody in internet marketing that's uh, selling uh, tactical flashlights, has a funnel for it, who's just crushing it. Um, and I thought, man, what a, like there's, this is a perfect website to advertise something like that. So man, you get one of those ClickBank share sale offers for a tactical flashlight and slip a few links in. I would be pretty excited about that. I think that could do something cool. Um, and next new content on the site is just, probably gonna rank pretty quick because it's a very established authoritative domain. So the new fruit, the low hanging fruit is really ripe on this website. Um, the field is white already to harvest for those of you that get that joke. Um, and it, just because it has high traffic. Um, but there are some threats to the website Frankly, I kind of think they're pretty minimal. This is just a solid site, but I sat here and I thought, okay, what are some things that aren't perfect about the website? One, it does probably need 20 new articles, so there is some work to do. I'd probably want to do that in the first month you own it um, to appease the ad brokers. Next, um, because there hasn't been a whole lot of uh, content written in the last year, I mean a whole lot, like two, uh, because there hasn't been content written in the last year, 
I don't think the traffic is gonna be increasing for you over the next six months. After six months, yes, if you write new content. But I, I'm gonna expect a plateau in terms of the, the traffic, which is, I think, a good thing. I like to see steadiness, but of course it would be nice if it was just going up for you, and I think that's unlikely. Um, next, uh, the site relies on Google traffic. Now, to me, that's actually a good thing. Um, I've never been hit by a Google penalty with all the sites because I just build them organically. No weird link, link building stuff. And so I just don't worry about updates to Google algorithms and stuff. Um, but because the Google is the biggest source of traffic, you know, there's just less diversity. But it does often get big spikes in content from social. Um, when somebody finds we have some really cool content on there that sometimes people share and you'll just see a spike uh, for a particular month and stuff. So it's not like it's the only traffic source, but it is a significant one. So something to keep in mind. So those are kind of the threats to the site and the low hanging fruit. You know, it's just been a really reliable, solid website for me. And that's why I feel pretty confident that I really doubt somebody's going to come back to me and say, oh, I wish I wouldn't have bought that website. I just, if somebody, well, first you could just stick it in your portfolio as a passive site. And I mean, 35 months from now, you, you got all your money back and you have the website. So you've essentially doubled your money, uh, which I don't know an investment in the world that could do that. You know, a typical, typical kind of stock market kind of investment. That's really cool. And that's why I love buying websites when I can find them. Um, but of course there is risk. I'm not saying there isn't any business, any investment has risk. Um, so, so that, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, next, the sales process. So I have to say, I'm going to be pretty cautious if a buyer is from an international country outside the U S uh, just because, uh, I have a little recourse if you did something shady, whatever, didn't pay, something like that. But I'm not totally closed off to it, so I'd like to hear from you. Um, so if you're interested in buying, email me at jim at improvephotography.com. But please just do not waste either of our time. Please only email me if you have the money. I mean, the site is being sold for $184,000. Um, it's a very fair price at, at that level, I believe. And so I'm not really going to even look at a low ball offer. You know, I'd, I'd be glad to look at any offers, but I'm just, I, I feel pretty confident that it's going to sell at, at about that price. So, um, so email me if you actually have the money and you are serious about buying it in the short term, um, because I, I do think this is probably going to sell pretty quick. Um, after that, we're going to set up a live call and I'll answer any of your questions, anything you're concerned with about, anything you want to know about the website right there. We'll do that a live call. After that point, once you make your, uh, your buying decision, um, then we would sign a contract and I would want you to put money into, uh, into an escrow for a down payment before I show the Google analytics, um, and things like that, just cause that's very proprietary information into the website. Um, and the reason I feel comfortable putting that later is like, I've really given you a lot of information here. You saw the general traffic to the website, exactly what the earnings are, etc. cetera. Um, so that, um, and I, I just, there's not going to be any surprise there. I just know there won't be. Uh, so, but we will verify it. Of course, you have to see that you have to know that it's totally good. And I want you to be able to look at everything on the website. So you feel totally confident. Um, and, and at that point, the, you would pay the full amount to, the, to an escrow. And then once I transfer the website to you, I take the money out of the escrow. So that keeps me from getting scammed um, and you from get, getting scammed by going to an escrow from a third party. It just means that, you know, you aren't getting the website without paying me and I'm not getting the money without, pay, without giving you the website. So kind of prevent scams. So I, I do want to do it, you know, the full do this the right way kind of thing. So that's the process for Knife Up. That's the website. I hope it's been fun to kind of see a deep dive into the website. Um, and if you're interested in buying, email me at jim at improvephotography.com. But again, only if you really do have the money that you can put together in, in a pretty short amount of time to, to buy it. It's a, it could be a killer investment for somebody uh, who's in a position to do it. I mean, like I said, I mean, 35 months from now, even if you do nothing, there's a good chance you've earned back all your money 
and you own the website. So if you, you've essentially doubled your money, that's really cool. So anyway, let me know. Email me and let me know uh, what you think. Bye.